The main donors of F-16 fighters for Ukraine are the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway and Belgium. Although the US distanced itself from the transfer of aircraft, it still took part of it. As Defense Express writes, experts noticed an interesting detail in the published video of the planes that were parked behind President Volodymyr Zelensky. They were different from the two that were armed and flying. In particular, the attention of Western experts was drawn to the antennas of the friend or foe system, which are located in front of the pilot's cabin. Such a sharp shape of the antennas was used in the first F-16A and the presence of a searchlight on the right side allows us to identify this aircraft as an F-16ADF. This is a special modification of the fighter for air defense which was transferred to the American National Guard. The second aircraft on static display also has a similar shape of antennas but there is no searchlight, analysts note. In addition, the fighters did not have automatic 20mm cannons, technical inscriptions, etc. In this regard, it was assumed that at least these two F-16s were handed over by the Americans as decoys. At the same time, it is the American side that remains the only candidate for the role of donor because the aircraft in this version were exported, used to Jordan and Thailand and were also leased to Italy, the experts added. That is why their demonstration did not pose any risks to the aircraft that are going on combat duty. According to Defense Express, using F-16 fuselages as decoys is the most effective solution since the difference from the real ones is so insignificant that it is difficult to notice. A satellite, a drone or even an observer with binoculars cannot distinguish them from the real ones. Probably modern inflatable models of these aircraft will be added to them. It is worth understanding that for the enemy, the destruction of Ukrainian F-16s will be task number one. Therefore, any methods and tricks for disguising fighters, their bases and maintaining information silence are the key to their effective use, the analysts concluded. Nearly 100 people were reported killed and hundreds more injured on Sunday amid renewed anti-government protests in Bangladesh. According to the country's leading Bengali language daily, Protom Allo, at least 95 people, including at least 14 police officers, died in Sunday's violence. However, Channel 24 put the number of killed people at 85. The military imposed a new curfew in the country, including in the capital, Dhaka, and other divisional and district headquarters on Sunday evening for an indefinite period. The protesters are calling for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's resignation following July protests that began with students calling for an end to a quota system for government jobs. The demonstrations soon escalated into violence and left over 200 people dead. Protesters have been criticizing the Prime Minister's handling of the protests, accusing him of cutting off mobile internet in a bid to quell the unrest and of sabotage. On Sunday, the government announced a holiday from Monday to Wednesday. Courts in the country have been closed indefinitely, mobile internet service is cut off, and Facebook and messaging apps, including WhatsApp, are inaccessible. Junior Minister for Information and Broadcasting Muhammad Ali Arafat said the services were severed to help prevent violence. At least 11,000 people have been reportedly arrested in anti-government protests in recent weeks. just oh my god guys